Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a review for Marv Film's new biopic about Eddie Edwards, the Olympic ski jumper, uh, Eddie the Eagle. And um, the movie's directed by uh, Dexter Fle Fletcher. Dexter Fletcher is uh, he's an actor actually, and he's been in a he's been in a whole bunch of stuff. He's been around forever. He was in Topsy Turvy. He was in The Elephant Man. He's been in he was in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. If you go on IMDb and you type in his name, then you'll see his face. So. He's been around the camera for a really long time, but this is his first time directing a major motion picture with a wide release. And um, it stars Taron Egerton, who is in uh, Kingsman The Secret Service, and he's completely unrecognizable in this role. It's great. He, he really transforms himself. He goes from being... I, I thought he was kind of prissy, kind of a pretty boy in Kingsman. I like Kingsman, but I, I thought he, his character was just sort of, I don't know, cocky, and, 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 and he proves that he, he's a real actor. The kid can act. And um, and it stars Hugh Jackman, who is of course Wolverine. So um, okay, so Eddie, Eddie Eddie the Eagle Eddie the Eagle is it's um, he's a he's a downhill he's a little he's a little kid and he and he he has problems with his knees and so they put him in a leg brace and he spends a year in the hospital. So it's this tr classic underdog story. He gets this idea in his head when he's a little kid that he's going to be an Olympian and he tells his mom, "I'm going to be an Olympian," and he won't let this thing go. And he actually ends up being one of the world's finest downhill skiers. He's, he, I think he was top 10 in the world. But I don't know how it really went down. But in the movie, they kind of say, essentially, Eddie, you're, you're, you're such a loser, actually. We're, we're not going to let you be on the Olympic team, despite the fact that you're one of the best skiers. So de determined to be an Olympian, he decides to take whatever his parents' savings and steal his dad's car and drive to Germany and in Germany get on these um, these downhill ski jumps and there hasn't been a, a <laughs> hasn't been a ski jump for for England since 1929 or something like that and it was like this really like this 15 meter jump so <laughs> really puny something like that no it's just not something that the English have ever done so he, he figures because they haven't updated the rules in 50 years all he has to do is complete in any kind of competitive sport and complete um, a successful ski jump and the, he'll he'll find he'll go through this loophole and get into the Olympics and I, I mean I'm not gonna go into all the details of the movie I don't want to give too much away but I will say this that I mean it's emo I mean it's it's the kind of movie that it's 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 down try there's a lot of cliches okay it's bogged down by a lot of cliches and and the storytelling isn't particularly inspired Mr. Fletcher. No offense, but it's not. But the characters are so well acted. I mean, Egerton and he, even Hugh Jackman is just like such an awesome actor. And it's all these tiny little facial expressions that he gets. It, it's like it, he, he floors you. They both do. They floor you from time to time. And, it, and there's such strong performances that they manage to make this story, which is, I mean, it's funny because it's unbelievable, but, but it's real, but it's not real. It's one of those things. And they make it they really make it, I mean, I'm going to be cheesy, they make it sore, they make it fly. They really do. And at the end of the movie, I had tears in my eyes. So, I mean, what, what kind of a better review can you get? Um, in terms of technical filmmaking, is it groundbreaking? Is it astounding? Is it, you know, incredible? No, it's not. But, I mean, in terms of heart, does the movie really have the story that it wants to convey and that it does manage to convey? Yeah, it does. So... Uh, my review for Eddie the Eagle is I give it a B plus, and I think it's um, I think it's a, a gem of a little film, and uh, I, I you know I can't wait to watch it again. So uh, we'll see you next time.